As the deadline ticked away, Trump was confronted with a choice, release all of the 3,100 records without any redactions, or accept the redactions of intelligence and law enforcement agencies and release 2,800 of those documents. Trump agreed to the second option, while also requiring agencies to conduct a secondary review of the information they believed should be redacted within 180 days. But Trump was still miffed by his decision. He was unhappy with the level of redactions, a White House official said, adding that Trump believed the agencies were not meeting the spirit of the law. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said in a statement Thursday night that Trump has demanded unprecedented transparency from the agencies and directed them to minimize redactions without delay. Trump's final decision came at the end of a months-long review of the remaining 3,100 classified records relating to the Kennedy assassination, during which tensions flared between intelligence and law enforcement agencies and the National Archives and Records Administration over what information should be withheld from the public. But the fight rose to the Oval Office on Thursday as several national security agencies made last-minute appeals to the president to accept their redactions and, in some cases, withhold all documents related to their agency, a White House official said.